Hello, everybody. My name is Stephen Galloway. I'm a holistic nutritionist at Gainesville Holistic Health Center. And in, in addition to doing nutrition, one of my specialties is also an art called iridology. Iridology it is a study of the iris, the colored part of your eye, and it's an art that is, can date back to the late 1700s. Iridology is a very important, non-invasive diagnostic tool that we can use to see chronic markers as well as acute signs in the body, as well as things like inflammation, toxicity, inherited weaknesses, etc. And the reason why this all works is because the eyes are the first thing that form off the womb when we're being born. So what ends up happening is the brain forms, then the eyes come off the brain, then come the spinal cords and all of the organs and everything. So everything gets interconnected back through the nervous tissue into the eyes. So when we're looking at the eyes, we're seeing more of a deep tissue reading. So we're not just seeing something that, say, just happened last week. What we're seeing is a reading of the integrity of your tissue on essentially every part of your body, and we're seeing that on that deep level. So what the benefit we can get from doing something like this is we're able to see essentially a picture of your health from birth all the way up to now. And that also includes being able to see certain things such as genetic weaknesses. Uh, a very good benefit of this as well as instead of taking you know, numerous blood work tests, etc., we can just simply take a picture of the eye to get a very good understanding of everything that's going on in terms of your health. This would also be an excellent tool for kids and children as well because we would be able to see genetic weaknesses, any inherent things going on, and it will give us a very good idea as a preventative measure. So that's another excellent thing about iridology is that we can use it in a preventative manner. So when we see something in the eye, we may not necessarily see symptomatically what's going on, but we can use the information from the eye as a preventive measure where we can see, for example, an area where there may be an issue or a weakness before any physical symptom occurs. So that can be very valuable in terms of preventative care for, the, for yourself. And when we look at the eyes, for, typically we'll take the picture of the eyes with a camera such as this one. And what this will do is it will give us an up-close, high-resolution image of your iris. And then what we can do from there is we can then put that on the computer and run that through different diagnostics and programs and get a very good idea of what's going on in the iris. So when we look at the eye, pretty much every part of the eye correlates to a different part of the body. For example, this correlates to the thyroid, this area to the kidney and adrenal, etc. So when we look in the iris, and when I'm doing an iris reading, we can look at specific areas to see exactly and pinpoint where in the body the tissue is weak. So another interesting thing is that you see how we have left and right side each eye correlates to each half of the body. So in the benefit of something like that is take, for example, your kidneys, which we have one on each side. Typical medicine, when we see a kidney issue, won't tell you that it's for each particular side, whereas with iridology, we can look specifically and see exactly where in the body which side it is, for example, thyroid as well, lungs, etc. And so when we look at the eyes as well, we can get a very good idea of what's going on in digestion. We can see essentially everything with the colon and digestion, including the shape of the colon. For, so for example, we could see ballooning pockets, things like that. And we can also look as well even at the pupil, which will give us an indication of your digestion as well, and even the white part of the eye, which is called the sclera, we can even get signs from that. So just from looking at the overall eye, we'll get tons of information about where to go in your health. And I like to use iridology in particular as one of the first starting points when we're kind of beginning our healing journey, because from looking at the eye, we can sort of get an excellent picture 
of where we want to start. So we don't have to guess. You know, if you have multiple issues going on, for example, your digestion's weak, your liver metabolism is slow, kidney is slow, instead of trying to guess which place we should focus on and which would we be better, we can just simply take a pictures of the eye and then we know where we want to pinpoint and where we want to focus. So this is an excellent starting point in terms of the healing journey to give us a great idea of where to go from there. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. This was the first video in a set of many to come, pretty much just explaining the basics of iridology and how it works. We'll be going more in depth and go over more specific science. So I hope you watch and enjoy. Thank you.